Nissan Leaf Second Generation, ZE1, 2017. In October 2017, for the 2018 model year, Nissan launched the new generation Leaf in Japan, and deliveries in the US and Europe began in February 2018. In 2018, global sales reached a record level of 87,149 units, third behind the Tesla Model 3 and the Bayek X series. Mechanically, the second generation Leaf is similar to the first, while adding longer range, and more power. Stylistically, it is a major departure from the previous model. The interior adds Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It has a 40 kWh battery pack with an EPA rated range of 243 km, 151 miles. The electric motor produces 110 kW, 147 horsepower, and 320 Nm, 236 pounds feet, of torque. It charges through either a 6.6 kW regular plug, CJ1772 in US slash Japan or a Type 2 connector in EU countries, or a 50 kW CHAMO, and has the ability to send power back to the grid. Propilot Assist, a lane centering system, is available on the two highest trim levels for an additional cost, and has automatic parking in some markets. The car offers one pedal braking where easing off the accelerator pedal causes significant regenerative braking, to the point where the vehicle can be brought to a complete stop without the driver touching the brake pedal, at which point hydraulic brakes are automatically applied, to hold the vehicle in position. From 2019, a Leaf E Plus, Leaf Plus in North America, variant has been offered. It has a larger 62 kWh battery providing an EPA range of 364 km, 226 miles, and a new 150 kilowatts motor with 33% more power. It can use Chaitma chargers up to 100 kilowatts. In September 2020, Nissan showed off a novel UK prototype emergency services version of the LEAF for natural disaster response, dubbed the Real LEAF, based on the 62 kilowatt hours LEAF E+, sold in the US as the Plus. The working concept vehicle is rugged with elevated ride height about three, under body protection and all-terrain tires on motorsport wheels. It is intended to serve as a reliable mobile power source for a small command center, offering weatherproof external power outlets for site lighting, tools or emergency medical equipment. Other modifications include a cargo area in place of the rear seats, separated from the passenger area by a cage a rear hatch area that opens to a workstation area with pull-out computer desk and 32 inches LCD monitor, and roof-mounted emergency lights. While there was no word of an actual production version, the concept was well received in the automotive, EV and tech media.